All right, so um, we are going to now, uh, I wanted a couple extra USB 3.0 ports, so I had this card laying around that's a little PCI Express card that plugs into the motherboard. So I'm just going to put that in. And a PCI Express slot, it's one of these little tiny slots here that only has two little holes in it. And so I'm going to put it in this one that's third down. So very easy. You just need to remove the little back slot cover here for that hole. And then pop this in that slot and screw the screw back in. Nothing to it. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And then the next we're going to deal with our storage. We're going to put in our DVD drive. All right solid state drive and a hard drive that I'm going to use for backup purposes. And so there are two extra USB 3.0 ports there. Now let's deal with the storage. First let me just show you how with this uh, uh, Antec 302 case the DVD uh, drive pops in. I'm just going to slide it in the top space here and it you just push it in a little bit until it catches. It's got a nice little automatic um, holder there. So that's in. Nothing to it. And we'll plug in the power and everything to that a little later. Uh, second, let me show you how hard drives go into this case. They come with these little uh, toolless drive rails. And I've never worked with these before. But I am assuming that these two little pins here you just want to kind of snap on the sides I'm guessing they go something like this and then we can just pop those on each side those do pop on pretty pretty easily and then we'll just slide this into one of these rails and that pops in that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be so that's pretty nice. And lastly, what we want to do is, is put in our Samsung 840 series 256, sorry, 250 gigabyte SSD drive here. And here's what it looks like. Very small, much smaller than that hard drive, but also a lot faster and uses a lot less power. In this case, there are two places that you can mount these SSDs. Um, in the case. One is either in the bottom of the case here. Let me get these cords out of the way so that you can see. These little four holes here, you can set it on top and mount it right there. Or you can mount it back here. There's another little uh, place where you can mount it. And the only downside to this mounting spot is that our motherboard actually covers up two of these holes where we would need to screw it in. So I guess that leaves us, unless we want to buy a separate bracket, with mounting it down here on the bottom. And so that's where I'm going to go with this. I'm going to mount it right down. Let me get rid of this tape. Mount it right down here. And so you need four of these little screws that come with the case. To mount this and so let me mount this in here real quickly. I'm going to flip the case over on the side here so you can see. Just pop these screws through the bottom of the case. Kind of an interesting, interesting way of doing it. And there are four little holes on the bottom of this SSD that those match up with. All right, it's trying to give me problems here. Well, I'm having trouble getting these screws started. I think I'm not putting them in the right place. Let me try to do this another way. Let me try to see the screw hole. 
through there and then put it in. I think there was another bump on the bottom of the SSD that it was getting caught in. There we go. I think as soon as I get one of them in, the other ones will be a lot easier. Alright, so I'll put the other four screws in here and then we'll come back and we'll hook everything up.